Maria Montez, a luminary in the classic Hollywood era, continues to evoke cherished memories for those enamored by her on-screen charisma. Renowned for her captivating performances in adventure films, Montez's legacy extends beyond the silver screen. Exploring lesser-known facets of her life unveils a tapestry of fascinating anecdotes, providing a nuanced understanding of the woman behind the characters she portrayed. As we delve into the captivating world of Maria Montez, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic Hollywood actor. Your stories and reflections are welcomed in the comments below, contributing to the celebration of a talent that has left an indelible mark on cinema history. Maria Montez's journey to fame was far from conventional. Raised in a convent in the Canary Islands, she later ventured to Ireland where she played minor roles in plays before marrying a wealthy Irishman named William G. McFeeders. Unprepared for the austere life on a large estate, she set off again in 1939, finding her way to New York. There, she quickly became a sought-after model, notably working for McClellan Barclay. Despite her initial pursuits in acting, Maria's life took an unexpected turn when she accepted Jean-Pierre Amand's marriage proposal. Almont's duties as a French officer soon called him overseas, leaving Maria to navigate the challenges of a military marriage. Her humor shone through as she joked about enduring cold showers in his absence. Maria Montez's resilience and versatility eventually led her to the silver screen, where she gained recognition for her captivating performances. Her journey from a convent in the Canary Islands to the glamour of Hollywood remains a testament to her determination and adaptability. Born in the Dominican Republic, Maria Montez's roots were Spanish, her father serving as the honorary Spanish vice consul in Santo Domingo. Contrary to her birthplace, Maria's journey to fame unfolded in a manner far from conventional. After early ventures in Ireland and New York, where she transitioned from a convent upbringing to becoming a sought-after model, her life took an unexpected turn with a marriage proposal from Jean-Pierre Amont, a French officer. Navigating the challenges of a military marriage, Maria's resilience and versatility eventually led her to the silver screen, where she gained recognition for captivating performances. Her determination and adaptability are exemplified by the fact that the International Airport in Barahona, Dominican Republic, was named the Maria Montez International Airport in her honor in 1997. Interestingly, she auditioned for notable roles in films like Orpheus and Samson and Delilah but did not secure the parts of death or Delilah. Maria Montez's journey from a convent in the Canary Islands to the glamour of Hollywood remains a testament to her unique path in the world of entertainment, solidifying her legacy as a multifaceted personality in the industry. Universal's best paid star during the mid-1940s, Maria Montez, defied convention on her path to Hollywood fame. Born in the Dominican Republic, she took the stage name Montez in honor of dancer Lola Montes, a favorite of her father. Despite her insistence on spelling it with an S, the studio overruled her. Transitioning from a convent upbringing to a sought-after model in New York, Maria's life took an unexpected turn with her marriage to French officer Jean-Pierre Almont. Navigating the challenges of a military marriage, Maria's resilience and versatility eventually propelled her to the silver screen. She became Universal's highest paid star, gaining recognition for captivating performances. Interestingly, Maria's multifaceted personality was humorously portrayed in Gore Vidal's Myron in 1973. The actress, known for her wit, endured challenges with a light-hearted spirit, even joking about enduring cold showers during Amant's overseas duty. Her journey from a convent in the Canary Islands to Hollywood glamour remains a testament to her unique path in entertainment. Notably, the Maria Montez International Airport in Barahona, Dominican Republic, was named in her honor in 1997. While she auditioned for significant roles, Maria's legacy extends beyond missed opportunities, solidifying her place as a trailblazer in the film industry. Maria Montez, a Hollywood star renowned for her captivating performances, left a lasting impact that extended beyond the silver screen. Notably, in the 1950s and 60 seconds, she emerged as a major iconic figure of gay camp culture, 
Her influence resonated in various Andy Warhol films of the 1960s, where the character, played by Mario Montez, became a significant presence. Mario Montez, a female impersonator and drag queen, fashioned his drag persona and name after the glamorous Maria Montez. Adding to her multifaceted legacy, Maria Montez found herself entangled in a legal battle in 1951. She successfully sued producer Seymour Nebenzel for $50,000, a testament to her tenacity in pursuing what was rightfully hers. The lawsuit stemmed from her involvement in the film Siren of Atlantis, although the picture's commercial failure prevented her from collecting the awarded sum. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Maria Montez's impact reached the literary world. Gore Vidal featured her as a major character in his 1974 novel Myron, a sequel to Myra Breckenridge. This further solidified her place in popular culture, showcasing the enduring fascination with her persona. Maria Montez's legacy spanning film, literature, and subcultures underscores her enduring influence and the indelible mark she left on the entertainment landscape. Her story continues to captivate, resonating across diverse realms of art and culture. Maria Montez, a multifaceted Hollywood star, not only dazzled on the silver screen but also left a lasting impact beyond her filmography. Hailing from the Dominican Republic, her roots traced back to a family entangled in political upheavals, as her mother was the daughter of political refugees. Amidst her unconventional journey from a convent in the Canary Islands to Hollywood glamour, Montez's family background added layers to her intriguing story. While navigating the challenges of a military marriage to French officer Jean-Pierre Amont, Montez displayed resilience and adaptability. Interestingly, during her husband's overseas duty in the wartime era, she utilized her time creatively. Waiting for his return, Montez penned a novel titled Forever is a Long Time. This unexpected venture showcased her literary side complementing the glamour associated with her cinematic roles. It's worth noting that before this novel, she had already dabbled in writing, having composed a few poems in her native Spanish language. Montez's creative pursuits extended beyond the glamorous facade of Hollywood. Unbeknownst to many, she had familial ties, being the sister of Julia Andre. This familial connection adds a personal dimension to her life shedding light on the lesser-known aspects of her identity. In the realm of popular culture, Montez's influence goes beyond the screen. She became an iconic figure in gay camp culture during the 1950s and 60 seconds. The impact of her persona resonated in Andy Warhol films, where the character played by Mario Montez, a female impersonator and drag queen, adopted her name and glamour. This unexpected connection further solidifies Montez's imprint across diverse realms of art and culture. As we delve into Maria Montez's multifaceted life, from her family's political history to her literary endeavors, it becomes evident that her legacy transcends the traditional boundaries of a Hollywood star. Her story, a tapestry woven with diverse threads, continues to captivate audiences, resonating across generations and artistic spheres. As we bid adieu to this journey through the cinematic realms that once dazzled audiences, we implore you to ponder upon the indelible mark left by the enigmatic actress who graced the silver screen. The spellbinding performances and the captivating allure she cast upon the hearts of viewers have become timeless echoes in the tapestry of entertainment. Take a moment to traverse the corridors of your own memories, allowing the flickering images of Maria Montez's on-screen brilliance to unfold within the recesses of your mind. What narratives did her performances etch into the narrative of your personal cinematic chronicles? What emotions were stirred by the kaleidoscope of characters she portrayed with such finesse? In this shared exploration of nostalgia, we beckon you to lend your voice to the chorus of admiration and reflection. Share your treasured recollections and thoughts about the cinematic symphony orchestrated by an actress who effortlessly danced between the realms of fantasy and reality. Let your words be the tribute that resonates across the cinematic landscape, where each viewer's connection becomes a testament to the enduring legacy of an icon. As the curtains draw to a close on this reflection, we extend our gratitude for your time and unwavering interest. The beauty of Maria Montez's artistry lies not only in the frames of film, but also in the hearts of those who continue to be captivated by her essence. Thank you for allowing us to traverse this nostalgic path together, celebrating the profound impact of an actress whose brilliance transcends time.